Hi, so you liked it? You're yeah. on mute. Oh, there you go. Okay. I was not sure if I should leave the call or not. <laughs> but then, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I have to. we have to leave so that it resets and then it'll be recording and later on I'll upload it. But um, but yeah, I'm I'm look I'm 47 and uh, and I'm uh, I've gotten to where I am because uh, because I've seen all kinds of things in life, and I know how if you don't have the spark, then the flame never happens, right? So <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. If you an oxygen, there is a way. That's right. So yeah. at Harvard, at Harvard, there's a lot of people who um, who don't have. Who haven't gotten to you know especially where I am right at the at, uh, at the business level um, there, a lot of people are when I say where I am it's not where I've accomplished but it's where I'm situated a lot of people have um, are getting these um, degrees to get a job right to get a job yeah. so they can continue um, and then that then is you identify there's a choice is that you could either keep working in a job um, and have these incremental changes, or you can actually have a huge inflection in life, um, and 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 you only live once, right? So Y O L O, right? If you only live once, YOLO, right? Then why would you want to make incremental changes? And I'm yeah, not a, right. I don't care so much about incremental changes. Um, I care about them because it's needed I, to keep you alive, right? Exactly. That's yeah. so. Yeah. I. You know, I also changed my view on, on those incremental changes. So I have one of my best friends, Yannick. Mm. He, he's one of those guys. I mean, he, he went to ETH to get a degree. Mm. That was from the beginning, he, from day one, he said, I'm here to get a degree. Afterwards, I will go to industry and get a job. That right. was his goal. And then, you know, I think it's 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 totally fine. It's it's, it's perfect. I, I have other friends, they also, they, they work to sustain a living, basically, right? right. And then I, I took this one class of, of Professor Didier Sorne. He's, he's a physics class. It's, it's called Technology Entrepreneurship. And then he said, you know, so society, you will have 90% of the people, they get up every day to do their job. And then they go to university to get a job and then get money and maybe rise a career ladder. And, and he said, those 90 percent they they are needed they create basically this, this society switzerland the us just this environment where you have fuel and oxygen right and then he said and then he said five percent of the people they they will never be happy you know they and i think i'm i'm one of those five percent and he said they always want to change stuff they don't like the status quo they get bored by status quo that's right they that's right. They, they don't want to stay like that so and then, then five percent are those that they don't want to participate in society, which is also fine. It's it's a free choice, right? You don't have to to basically participate if you don't want to. Um, so I I you are building a bone platform, and I'm building a platform of using my influence, right, of where I've gotten mm -hmm. to lend a hand, right, send down a hand to help, right. Um, I don't charge for um, for um, you know oh, if you uh, uh, if we attract a million dollars, give me ten percent of uh, or five percent of the million. I don't I don't do that. Keep a hundred percent of it. Um, now leave some bone for me, right? You know, <laughs> the drop of blood from from John Hollis. He he he's prepared to give me a whole vial of his blood. You know, you want to drink it? You could drink it. You know, it's like it's like it's signed over to me. I know it's like. <laughs> you make a necklace out of it and wear it. You know, it's like I meet some very interesting people and the more impact I meet at at the very granular level. I don't like to meet the impact, um, you know, when it looks nice because I don't have to see the code behind it, right? If I can see the intricacies, the individual behind it, and then, and then there's a crowd effect um, of people who just like this. They want to see behind the scenes. I don't know why I made it, John. I don't know why. Uh, I, 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 mean, I, I know I made it, but I don't know why I made it. I just know that by doing this, right, over and over again, if we have enough impact, then then we will now have, we can have a paradigm shift to be able to solve certain problems. It might be several types of Johns coming together and forms a completely different solution for something else, unrelated, and every one of you guys have made it. 
I'm interested in that. So I have a homeschool investment, right? Investment in the homeschool, DW prep. But I also have, a, I'm in investing right now in senior homes. Okay. In, in senior, senior homes? Senior homes. Like when you go become a ah, senior and you're all frail, homes. right? It, it, imagine, it, like, I'll save you a spot too. It's like, you know, what, imagine if you're like a scientist <laughs> and engineers, we all go into the same senior home, right? You know, and we go chat and remember... 30 years ago, you helped me and all. Yeah, because, you know, if you go into any other place, right, you're going, you have to all do like these tasks and, and they're not very highly intellectual. Imagine if we had a different um, outcome for these senior homes where your food is prepared by someone who's in the nutrition side that looks at the granular level like you did with bone, but at the granular level with beetroots or, 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 or apples, right? And you take that technology, right? And we're all, we're all, we're all that 5%, right? It's that 5% that we will all grow old. We'll all age. But with our time, how you qualify into this senior environment is you had to have contributed. Either that or you had a lot of money and you want to fund it. But, but if you don't have a lot of money, but you have contributions, you can get a spot in here. And when you get inside and you're a senior, you will not be forced to go through uh, 15 different tasks during the day and then that's their day and you wait till you die no no we'll have uh, we I want freedom I want us to be able to continue until the lights go out continue until the lights yeah. go out. Because, you know by the time you are reach 70 um, you know there's 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 a incremental risk is much higher when you start 50 your risk will start increasing so you are less than 20 years from reaching 50 Right, and look how many years it took you to get to here, right? And between that time and reaching fifty, you have to have children, you have to uh, build a family. Those are those are things that can change. But when I look at the box plot or something like that, I look at the outlier. Is how can we make these outliers meaningful and take them to the next level? It's not to just be an outlier, right? There are books out there that say, "Oh, you have to do this and you'll be an outlier," and then so what? Then what happens, right? Then people won't understand you, right? And then you won't get know how to get funding. And then you'll find, oh, you know what? We can get funding by exploiting ourselves. In other words, prostituting our, 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 ourselves, right, to uh, other companies, which is fine. I've done it, you know, I've, I've done it. But the other side is what if we could do 20% of exploiting ourselves, but 80% is to maintain the exploration? Well, then that requires a whole different mindset. Now, sometimes you get very lucky, like in graphene, I could, ex I could exploit nothing and be 100% exploration because they were just crazy. And then you look at something like um, cannabis, another example of this. When cannabis hit the United States and Canada, you could just, you know, you could just go exploring. You didn't have to be exploiting yourselves. And then you talk about nanomaterials, well, the buckyball people had to exploit more than explore carbon nanotubes they had to exploit more than explore and there was a short time of exploration but mainly it was that and then i'm looking at this maybe someone who's been fortunate enough to have the exploration can come here right and then and then and then affect things one example is in the material side um i bought some real estate and when i bought the real estate as the landlord i have lordship rights so as a lordship, right, I can put anything I want into the ground. You know, it can't be lead or mercury, but I can put things in there that have a safety profile that's recognized. And then I can try out materials. I can repair the roof, try out new materials. So it's my own property. So I, I utilize the real estate platform to allow for that transformation. So I have an investment platform. I talk to other investors and then they talk to me and I tell them, you know, I happen to have this uh, conversation. I'm involved. What they always ask me, "What am I involved with?" So I'll share mm -hmm. with them, and then that will be your chance to talk with them, right? Don't yes. do what you just did, right? Where you go and uh, you know, don't do that, right? They don't understand. They they don't remember any physics. M many of them haven't taken any. They all went through high school, but they they have somehow made it so that they have some wealth to do things, yeah. right? And then they're ready to talk to you. You have that one moment in time right that one moment to say something right and and mm -hmm. you have to think different because you you know i'm involved and things like that but i can't go and twist their arm right what i can do is i can say i'm involved with this um i'm putting yeah. I, I put my reputation here um and i believe in you i believe in you 
I, I think there's there requires a lot more than my faith and your faith, but together yeah, that faith, right, setting up this platform, others will come, right? Others will come. So keep doing it, right? And 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 I, I see I'm not always I'm not chatting in the WhatsApp because I have a lot of things going on. Yeah, but I, I support you guys, um, and I I certainly look forward to um, because you know at the Harvard Business side we could easily showcase this, right? But in the right time. If you showcase this at the wrong time, right, um, then, then, then they look at it and say, so you have to go through your, some of that training, right? I have to give you some of that mindset so that you can speak, right, um, about uh, certain things. Now, on, on, on November 10th, um, Williamson might attend as well. I'll be speaking at the, at, at the Business Analytics, and I will be talking about uh, my not successes that led to successes. It's my vulnerabilities that lead to my success. I'm vulnerable. When I heard you speak about this initially, not on our interview, but initially, I said, wow, what a great thing to accomplish in life, to actually um, change the, the shift, the osteoblastic activity, right? And to, to change, to build a platform where people uh, uh, talk about things. And as I looked at your presentation, it's not presented in a in a way that Wall Street would understand, right? It's not. Pre it's presented in a way that scientists might understand. Not all of your scientists, but they might understand. And scientists are not people who fund things. They are usually yeah. right. That you, like you're doing your postdoc because your professor has received some funding for his work, right? For his work, and that is that is that is under the exploration exploitation model. Yeah, I have to, exploiting, I have to, being exploit. You're right. You know, you are trying to explore, right? You're trying to build a company that explores. You are being trained as a postdoc that is being exploited. So, so the shift that model, right? Which one is more valuable? You know, Nokia, uh, Kodak, right? These companies were in the they they were exploiting. They had plenty of uh, cash flow coming in, and then they got eliminated because it shifted. the The world shifted. And they're so addicted to the ex exploitation is great. You get all this cash flow. And, and oil companies that exploit are they live off and they sell the oil they find, but they don't discover. They're not exploring. So then they eventually they run out. But what happens if a company that's in the oil petroleum business were to explore beyond oil and explore in solar, explore in you know hydrogen power, and fuel cells, you know. What percentage should you shift, right? Should it be 20%? Should it be 50%? And in, in, in a lot of times in the Wall Street firms, um, some of these companies uh, will be willing to explore um, uh, and invest in things that are explore because that's their only way of exploring, right? So there could be a fit for, for, for when we build this out properly and pitch this properly, how, um, how to present it, right? Because mm -hmm. I want to present how rare you are, and that's the truth, right? I want to present truths, uh, veritas, right? To be truthful, um, and if we don't present the truth, and we start presenting, well, yes, you need three hundred thousand francs. Yes, if we gave you three million francs, it would be even better, right? But I want to stress how rare it is. What did it take for John to get to this level? What did it take, right? You know, it it took a lot of things going right. All uh, right, and, yeah, and, and, yeah. And, and by you breathing and living and where you are, a lot of things are going wrong. Why? Because why are we still wasting time? Why do you need to be keep doing your postdoc? We could be taking that idea and have 50 postdocs under you, right, right now, because yes, of how important yeah, that idea is. It's just a shift of importance, right, as opposed to trying to be important, right, in the current ecosystem. Right? Like, exactly. COVID, I mean, like COVID, COVID was so important that suddenly, if you had a solution, you got funding to work on it. Right. So, so yes. you're telling me that aging, aging is the number one killer of people, right? It's the number one killer. It's like, uh, it's like cancer. They, it kills people. Aging kills people. If something is so life-threatening because it threatens our lives and prevents yes. our product, it decreases our productivity. If you, if you have teeth problems, you eventually hit the nerve. If you hit the nerve, you're going to be screaming in pain. You can't be productive. So it affects the brain, right? So the mind. So we have to imagine if we could change that, what the productivity level would go to. It's all about presenting that way, right? Yeah. I mean, what, what I 
I mean, the, the aging is, 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 a, is a good top. I mean, I, I always follow the startup scene in Switzerland, right? And and then what I saw, the, the highest Series A round that I saw in Switzerland um, was last year was a company, they raised 20 million in Series A. And that really caught my interest. And then I went on their homepage to check, like, how did they manage to do this? Mm. So and what I saw is that they were basically the, the founders, the co-founders, they were all aged between 40 to 45. Mm -hmm. I think there were some of them were serial entrepreneurs. They had one big professor named from Harvard and then from, from, from Japan, one person. And, and they had basically what they did is what I think is still smart. They basically combined three mini startups into one company. Right. And they, they called it re, um, Reuverum, so reu, reu, rejuvenate to some somehow. And then um, and when I would check now again what they are doing, so then I went now, now they changed a bit, so you don't recognize anymore that they have three activities. So they have like three independent teams and project. Now what they say is that, yeah, if you have an idea against for aging or, or life science, they will basically offer the incubator hub, right? right. Um, but yeah, I mean, okay, I, that's like exploiting, right? I don't go to, then, you know, they yeah, find right. So I, I think that if we had to summarize it. how I got to where I am, right? If I had to give away the secret, right? It wasn't testing these small little ideas, right? And then seeing if it worked. It was being at these, at this, um, at this exponential growth point where, mm -hmm. where this solution set was needed, right? In graphene, it was one of those. In cannabis, it was another. Um, uh, in materials, it was another, right? And then in bone, I feel it. I recognize it. This is how I've gotten here. So I look at what you're doing. I say, it, it looks like this to me, right? It looks like this to me. Um, and, 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 but it doesn't look like this to anybody else, right? Which is, which is yeah. fine. I was always early. Um, and, uh, and, but by being early, um, that's what made the difference. Uh, I've done it also in, in um, uh, I wouldn't call it cryptocurrency, but more of a, a cryptocurrency became a platform that supports it. But basically it was seeing um, a, a change in how you look at data and data sets. And I'm not Williamson, right? I, don't, I didn't write code, but be, because of our relationship, he showed me, oh my gosh, this was what I was onto, right? I then could appreciate what I felt, but I always felt this, I could feel this before it was visible to others. Um, and that propelled things. And then I could take that effect of this and apply it to things that were dead, like real estate, right? Real estate doesn't do anything, but now I could have that platform. And then it also, I can also bend it this way, right? Maybe it doesn't go exponential, but I can bend it and change its trajectory based on um, the other opportunities. So I want to surround myself with people like yourselves. I mean, I want to surround my students with, um, when you mentioned about interning, right? I want to surround my students with an opportunity to intern at Compagos, right? That, I have the homeschool, so I might as well I, you know, do that, right? So I have the platform to do that. And that I want the senior home, will keep the seniors alive by watching this content. So I'm creating the content to help people I admire, but then at the same time I meet their friends and family. I'm sure if I came to Switzerland, we would have a nice meal. If I went to Brazil, we could have a nice meal. How do you end up having a nice meal? With people who have the same interests, where their interests are aligned. I have no greater interest than to see you materialize into what I see you to be, right? I, mean, I want to see that happen, and that's why I, I want to be involved, right? I mean, you also mentioned this basically inclination point, right? Right. And I, and I like and I think one, one should also consider what has happened basically. Yes. Right. It's not just, okay, I did a master's and a PhD and now I try to do a startup. I think I just, I also got lucky. So, I mean, yes. my former group with the old professor, right. he basically, he spent 20 years researching nanoparticles. Mm. The technology and the expertise to produce these nanoparticles in, in a scalable fashion, four startups from ETH are using it, or I think even five at the moment. So there's 20 years of research at ETH level that has been done on, on doing these nanoparticles and then and it's working and then now with my current professor in bone biomechanics right mm. he has it's also he start he became professor at eth i think in 2001 so it's also 
20 years basically of research at ETH level. So there is at, at least more than 20 million of funding and has gone in, into that. And it's right. not, of course, I'm not commercializing every little aspect of that. But basically, this is I not a think... garage experiment. In other words, there's yeah. you are you are your um, ideas rests on the shoulders. Oh, they rest on the shoulders. Exactly. You're on the shoulders of your other predecessors, and we're taking that power. That's exactly right. So why I feel this is actually one of the components is I see that it's not a garage experiment. I don't want a garage experiment. Um, while garage, nothing to poo poo on that. I look for things where it's resting on the shoulders. I mean, this is just a massive discovery uh, because I do look at what you guys talk about on the WhatsApp, right? And I, I see that, right? And I say, this is incredible. This is incredible. If, if, and you just need this small amount of money. Um, you know, my, one of the projects I did, we raised $80 million in graphene, right? So it was, it was a massive raise. In cannabis, we raised $27 million Canadian for cannabis, yeah, it's, right? It's the more than, you don't need more in Switzerland. I, in Switzerland, yeah. you, if you raise all non-dilutive funding that is available, all non-dilutive money. I, I came to like 5 million that is available in Switzerland. If you get all the dilutive money, then you have to go into into basically things. Yeah, this is, then you go into Series A funding, the, the latest startups I saw in Switzerland that managed to do it, they get to, they get 10 million, 5 million, almost every ETH startups that is successful, manages to get 5 million in the Series A, some get 10 million, then a few less, they get 10 to 20 million. And yeah. and and what what you also, yeah, and I mean the environment, let's say for med tech in Switzerland, there are a lot of good startups coming and I've been out in a course, you know, I didn't even know it, but Switzerland has an agency for innovation. It's called InnoSwiss. Mm. You can apply for initial funding, uh, initial yeah. coaching, and yeah. you get five fifty hours of coaching. Then you can apply for core coaching. Then you get 500 hours of coaching and you can pick, I can pick coaches, you know, with all the, all kind of expertise that I need. And well, one of my friends who um, invented the lithium power, okay, a lithium yeah. power um, was coached um, in, um, in, in, he was in CERN, okay, uh, in, you know, in, in, in Europe and he was coached um, that his invention was garbage. Uh, he would never make it. Uh, yes, and yeah. he should he should he should just publish it. He should just publish it. So he publishes it, right? And um, and 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 and, um, and and after he publishes, Sony invites him because they've now copied what he's done, right? It's in mm -hmm. public records. Um, and now they made the Walkman, right? They can use this battery and they can make all these audio devices and MP3 players. And they treated him to dinner and thanked him, but he made not even a penny from his invention, yes, right? Yeah, yeah. And that's that's the thing is that you have to have the right coaches. Why I also see, you yeah. know, this benefit and I want to help individuals like yourself is what would you be like when you're a parent, when you, if you were a father, right? You're not a father right now, but if you became a parent and you went through what you learned in, in when you were in school and you met the teacher who said you couldn't do well, right? What would you be like now? Right. Obviously, you don't have yes. that experiment in front of you, right? You don't yes, have to yeah. live, but you would you would treat it very differently because, and provided the outcome is as I helped you and and you gained you got to a certain end point, right? Then then the next thing people do, right, is um is uh, I wasn't going to have children, but then things worked out, and then my wife said, you know, it's good, and I said, oh yeah, it's good. So we both arrived at the conclusion we should have children. But prior to that, when I was still exploring unsuccessfully, I, and I hate that word, right? Unsuccessfully, because it's just every exploration was necessary to lead to the, 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 the outcome, right? So everything is successful, right? It's just, it's just, it may not be apparent to you, right? So we then have children. So now I, I have a homeschool because I want to protect them. I, it, I don't believe in leaving it to random chance because random chance statistically is very low. So if I had this opportunity, maybe my spark can lead to your spark, and then we can make make that spark together. I don't know what it is in my energy field, right? But um, but I see it. So then some people like to look at my homework. They'll look at it and say, oh, if he's done his due diligence, then I'm going to believe in that bet. And I and I have those people too. 
And this is a hard one, right? Because, but it's not so hard because people do grind their teeth and they do have these pain points. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited about this very much. So I'm gonna now share with you what usually happens, right? Is I do, um, I, 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 I collect the second interview, which is what we just did, without mm -hmm. telling the guest, right? But I need your permission that you oh, don't mind me releasing this. It's just to, as like the behind the scenes, after I change my shirt, I don't yes. look like, right, anything, and we're just relaxed, and then I want people to also see that you're a real person, right? You're not, you're not gonna get funding and then, and then, and then be, be, be a bad person in the world, right? You're, you're just gonna to continue to do great yeah. things. Yeah. I mean, yes, so, I also, yeah. even if I don't get, I mean, I, I made up my mind, right? Even if I don't get, you know, I already was declined now by two grants, you know, one grant, they gave me excellent um, ratings on, on the person at the lab, every, all A ratings. And then, but on the project, they said like, it's a bit conceptual. And then, you know, you take the feedback and then you move on the next brand. And they want you to go incremental. Forget about that, right? We want, we, yeah. well, the, the, look, they're right because it's not incremental, right? But, but we yeah. want, we want this. So, so let, let's see, right? Let, 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 so what if it fails, right? Failure is the mother yeah, of success because of that. Ex yeah. Exactly. That, yeah. That's what, right. I, and <laughs> you know, when I don't get the funding for me, it just shows me the, the next limitation the, the next bar I, I can you know jump over that's, that's like right. and i just know now there is i, I just reached again a, a limit that i can over you know continue and overpass because that's yeah i just you know all you know i had a physics teacher my friend told me he met him after some years and he said like yeah he never thought that i or my friend would make it a he didn't um. believe that he could make it <laughs> it's like you know and yeah so i you know in the i stopped listening to the naysayers it's just uh, i recommend you watch a movie called x plus y if you haven't seen it no i haven't watched it yet. Yeah. yeah look for x plus y um and then you'll see that it's a beautiful movie that talks about how you know people and their beliefs and and and, and but it's very science oriented and about statistics and math you'll enjoy it um you know, we, we have to we have to remind ourselves that we, we, we don't have the um, the capacity to judge anything, right? I can feel it, I can have a sense to it, but I can't judge because because I, I, I you know who am I, right? What have I done? How far have I it's very humbling, right? I would never want to go to my grave knowing that I stopped something from happening, right? Because everything you know, I I'm, I'm supposed to just make it better. Right? If yes. I can make it a little bit better, right, that's my contribution. Except, I mean, I was, I also now participate like in one guy, I'm helping him with writing a book. He, yeah. he wants to write a book about the power of networking. And then, and then he just put it on LinkedIn. And I thought like, yeah, you know, I, I do a lot of writing, you know, oh. writing, yeah. not book writing, but I thought like, I, you know, I was in a relationship and then and she, my ex-girlfriend, she told me, you know, maybe you, you should write a book at some point because I think you're actually a good writer. And then I thought like, now that's maybe a good opportunity to learn it and then and what he also said what you just mentioned is that um people i think people should try more to be door openers right not door close clo uh, not closing doors but yeah. always open doors right because yeah that's that's well, it's easier people. you know the, most easier. doors are open already right so yes. you, you actually have to put energy to close them so i prefer yes. to just point people i think they're open but you just can't see them Right. So yeah. what happens is I just point it and look, look over there. Right. It costs a lot less energy and it's much more rewarding than to exactly. close the door. Right. You actually close yeah, someone's door. You know, that's yeah. Right. OK, well, this is great. I'm going to end it here because I don't want to contaminate it. Right. Because this was a, a, a here's, here's a candid uh, release. Right. Um, yeah. And um, and then and then we'll and just I, keep doing what we do on behind the scenes. Yeah. And you can release it. I'm not sure if I said it that you can release it. But you said you said that I can release it. Great. Okay. Great. Yeah. We're going to release it then. All right. Okay. Great. All right. Good. Okay, Thank John. You. See you. Bye bye. See you. Bye bye. Bye bye.